I found it really weird, by the way. Plop is like this much separation over Axe. Like, don't yeah, like, like, what do you feel plop? about Plop and Zane being ranked above these guys? Or Plop and Zane, if I said that. Yeah. So, so, PC in particular, I think is. Like, I, he should get some credit, right, bro? He, like, won literally the biggest tournaments of his era. You see those first, 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 first? <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. not a joke. <laughs> it's not, like, that's not, uh, that's, that's, those are the best tournaments of that era. Like, and he won a lot of them. And if you're going to criticize Ken for anything, um, and this, like, if you're going to make the weird off-ball argument of Ken being fifth and Mute King being fourth, right? Yeah. Uh, which I think isn't consensus, but maybe maybe some people um, really maybe value the modern era. I guess. Yeah, same same thing. Um, if you're gonna make an art, a criticism of Ken, it's that PC actually won a lot of the biggest tournaments of his quote unquote era. Game, you know, because once it got to 06, um, like Ken wasn't winning uh, MLG Las Vegas, New York, like all the, these tournaments, and similarly, Adam started stealing up a few and. You know, um, you know, then KJ start coming around, and you know, even Mutiking was a threat, right? Like, the 06 era was so lively and so, um, like, competitive um, at the time that, you know, it wasn't easy <laughs> for for Kent to continue his dominance in the same way, like 0405, like where he just didn't lose, right? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, and I think like PCs a as is you know, a, uh, a light that burned bright, you know, yeah. um, for not that long. Mm -hmm. So you can criticize him for that and that's fine. But his peak is just so considerably higher in terms of his peak results than like the people that are ranked above him that it kind of sticks out. Right. It's yeah. like, yeah, but that guy is like, was winning everything for, and in a really, really competitive era. So, um, so I don't know. I think PC Chris is insane. He's insane um, for I, when I first remember watching Apex 2015 Salty Sweet and he still beat Ken. It's like, that guy. That guy's made of something. Um, and and similarly, by the way, like, Axe versus Plup in terms of legacy. So Plup won a Genesis, Axe won a Summit, right? Yeah, both? like, Plup won, like, handful of majors here and there. Yeah, both have been plus or minus the same ranking for a lot of their careers. With I'd say Plup in terms of the, them both being top players, Plup on average being the higher ranked player for most of their overlap, but Axe having larger long longevity. Like Axe was good, has been good for longer, yeah. right? Yeah. But Plup also has periods of inactivity. Like he wasn't that active in the last like two years, right? Yeah, um, but again, it's like the last two years. Does that really count? <laughs> does that really count? And Axe wasn't exactly supremely active or really getting great results in that era either. But that's mostly because. He really didn't care about it, right? Mm -hmm. And so we don't really hold that against him very much. But nonetheless, like to me, it feels like a pretty equal weight comparison. You know, like Axe and Plup, it's hard for me to. It's like when people make, uh, you know, how people used to make fun of people for putting like Doc and and Mario like really far apart from each other on tier list. They're like, how could they ever be that far apart? They're just almost the same, <laughs> right? And then and then I think, you know, you could actually make distinctions of Doc and Mario. So maybe it's not a great example because pills and fair and all that, but. But basically, the way I see it is that Ax and Plup are, like, if you just look, like, put their resume side by side, it's really close. Like, it's really, really close. And if you value longevity more, you put Ax higher. And if you value, you know, peak, you put Plup slightly higher. But, like, it's not like Plup's peak is much higher than Ax's, right? Like, it's actually pretty close in that, in that department. Um, and so I, I, I wonder what the argument is that it's, especially if Plup is, like, not going to be given this like straight number 10 you know okay there's one one spot separation but like for me pop and action almost always be like attached to the hip and their current status like in whatever list you make because they have nearly the exact same resume right and like you think club should be ranked above chew that who apparently has more than what this resume may suggest um no, I mean I, I don't think so. I think I think Chu should be higher than both those guys. Yeah. Um I, I wanna so I never posted about post the public, but I made a draft list and this I didn't put that much thought into it. Um but yeah, I, if I remember correctly, I had Chu at ninth. Yeah, you had Zane at thirteen. Had, 
Yeah, it's Zane at 13. That's right. Um, I had I actually had Plup and Axe above Zane, if I remember correctly. I, think I, might disagree with, I don't know. I, I'd have to think that one up. But I think it's it's still probably fair. Like, Axe is like a decade on the guy. Yeah. You know, like, it kind of matters. <laughs> 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 now, obviously, Zane's peak is higher. But it's not like... Like, like if you look, if you if you take a culmination of Axe's best results, which as you can see, it's like a summit win, you know, a, a, a handful of seconds, some thirds, you know, like, you know, he's got some force, he's got some, like, there's more than just this, this graphic shows, obviously, right? Mm -hmm. And you put it side by side with a listing of like Zane's best wins and you start ordering them, and ter if you make it land only, it's not going to look that different. Yeah. Yet um, again, Zane being hurt by 2020 to 2021. Yeah. Now, that's only if you don't count online like at all and i think you probably should um because if you view at, like an lacs win as like really fucking sick um you know um well did it make a win lacs am i forgetting something yeah you're right i'm, I'm mixing with summon 10 on that's actually beat no, zane no, at no, lacs no. i'm thinking of, i'm thinking of i'm thinking of lacs 2 oh yeah lacs 2 yeah that's the one I'm thinking about, right? Mm -hmm. But which might was that was that as big? I guess it was mm -hmm. Zane Mango still, right? Zane Mango Plup. The what the LSCS yeah. three was bigger stakes. It was bigger stakes, more more prizing. But mm -hmm. uh, anyway, the, the 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 point is is that um, I think this list doesn't count online the results. Do they say that it doesn't count it just period? Uh I'm I'm not if if so then Zane should be like 13th for sure. If it does, I mean like it's so hard, right? Like, yeah. like I think literally his ranking is about how much you value online results. <laughs> it's, it's like it's like either you think he's 13th uh or or 14th or 15th or something like that because of online results and, and you don't count them at all. Yeah, I mean, I'm controlling F online and nothing is being popped up. So, maybe yeah, I think they count. I think they count to some degree. I, I yeah. want to say. I I don't um, think I don't know how you could justify Zane being top ten without online. I don't. I, I don't think he can be top ten without online. I don't think yeah. it's actually even like realistic at all, especially above Chew. Like that one's that one's. I could see Zane above Plup Plup Axe. Like I could see that maybe above PC, but I don't know. PC's above PC is kind of crazy. Um. But okay, let's say you you have him above Plup Axe and PC, but above Chew, like that guy was good for like he's got like he's got like fifteen years on Zane. Yeah, That's I like not a joke. That's I like, I didn't I when I first hear a Chew dad, I think of that guy that gets a bunch of second places and okay, he got first in pound two. That's about it. And then like mm -hmm. you like told me about some other results he had, and it's like you know he. Won Battle BC over Mutakini. He won uh, like a notable tournament over like KDJ, PC Chris, and other old heads. It's like, wait a second. He does have a little bit more first place lists than I thought. You know? Yeah, and I also think second place isn't like chopped liver. You know, like it hurts, but good. like it's. I mean, this amount of second places, like that's good. Yeah, when it's like this many second places, and also it's kind of like, you know when michael jordan was playing in the nba right where it's like you kind of be like you kind of have to give forgiveness to the guys like david robinson and charles barkley and carmelo and like be like okay yes they didn't win a lot of championships you know uh when jordan was around uh but you know there was a tsunami in the scene and no one could beat him and that was ken right like <laughs> like if you're the dude getting second to Ken, that's still really impressive. Mm -hmm. um, and he was he was getting second, but also, at, of course, at overall, it should be said that Asim was considered um, for, like, a large period of time to be the second best in the world. And, like, Chu and him third, basically. Um, but still, like, nonetheless, results-wise, Chu got a ton of seconds, right? Yeah. Um, and... Uh, you know, and one smaller regional tournaments like here and there, plenty of those. He's got plenty of those, and then he carried over in the modern era. Yeah, right. Like, like he was kind of far. I had to sit through and commentate. I had to sit through and commentate a grand finals 
of Mewtwo King's Ganon versus Chudat's Fox. That happened in the modern era. He was, he was good enough to allow that to be on main stage at a dream hack, right? And that was like 2018 or something. Uh. I don't remember when that was, right? Like, the fact that, uh, like, he still, still translated base. that much, like, basically 15 years after his prime or some stupid, you know, something stupid. Um, <laughs> like, that was our main stage. Like, I, I was actually in disbelief that, like, I'm sitting in this chair commentating this nonsense. Um, and this guy, you know, was supposed to be washed up 10 years ago, right? <laughs> like, that's, that's what we're talking about here. And to me, that's insanely impressive. Like, that's ridiculous to, you know, be pushing, like, she was pretty old, right? Like, he's like 34 now, um, which in esports years is pretty old, yeah. like, and to carry it over that hard. I mean, I, I care about longevity more than um, most, I'd say, but still, like, you have to, like, just not care about it at all to say that, like, that's not insane, right? Like, I, I think his... I mean, he was top eighting Evos. Literally, remember him beating hugs? Like, yeah. I hate to bring it up because uh, uh, that was sad. Uh, he beat that Axe. Was sad. But yeah, I mean, like, bro, this guy came back and he was top eighting. <laughs> like, that's crazy. <laughs> that is, that's so crazy, bro. He was like, farming I Mango Music King. Uh, yeah. I mean, he was just too desperate. And he, he had to get. A ruling, a frankly BS ruling, uh, for Leffen to take a set over him, right? With a UCF, you know, yeah. doesn't count thing, right? Like, that's what we're talking about. Like, he was beating God level players, no problem. He was getting controversial rulings. <laughs> he was making top, like, this is the kind of guy we're talking about. And that's his post prime, right? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, obviously, it's not like, you know, Zane's not impressive in his own right and stuff. And we're comparing, like, the greatest players of all time, right? So, like, these other guys are impressive too. Um, but for me, like, I think it's a little premature, um, especially since Zane's best years are have, like, these insane crush question marks over them. Yeah. Um, that, like, are really hard to resolve. Um, and they'll get resolved in a year, literally. Like, is he pod I, I really right do expect now? the result in a year. Um, I think he's gonna he's gonna come into some of it. Like by actually, it might get resolved in like two months. <laughs> like I think if he like let's say he sweeps Summit SWT in Genesis, I might just be like, yeah, no, he's above him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Zane, <laughs> like, we like we know we know that like it, it could even be proven as soon as this summit and World Tour. It's like okay, if Zane wins those two, he's easily above Chudat. But like. You know, he hasn't yet. What? Like, what if he just bought... But he hasn't yet. What if yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, just speaking hypothetically, if Zayn wins those two events, which he is very capable of, uh, like, yeah, there's no argument that he should be below to shoot at, you know? No. Yeah. Um, but right now... And, I mean, when this list was made, seem I'm qu I'm questioning it hardcore. Uh, so, like, that, there's always that caveat where it's like, bro... <laughs> I don't know, Zane's hands aren't going to break in the next two months. <laughs> like, yeah. He's got to get up there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, he'd have to, basically, Zane would have to lose to people that I don't see him lose friendlies to on stream. For for him, he'd have to lose entire sets. Like, it's yeah. very improbable, right? Yeah. Uh, you, you've seen it, right? Like, you've seen, he okay. goes with seriously friendly sessions with tons of top players. His off-stream friendlies are... Are uh, the yeah. scariest ones? Are, are way oh oh my god, dude! He played against Kalindi last night. Did you watch those? I did not. Kalindi but... played really well. Yeah, like those. That might have been some of the highest level Fox marks we've ever seen. Like I'm not even kidding. They they were doing some crazy stuff. And you're right though that like when he's uh when he grinds off stream when he's not streaming himself, like it's even crazier. Yeah. Um, which. I mean, I still think it's crazy. Is that this guy streams for like six, eight hours a day, and then he goes off stream, and he keeps playing. <laughs> <laughs> and then, he, then he also says, "Oh yeah, by the way, I do like one to two hours of technical practice a day, like before I stream." Yeah. Like, bro, like, 
when do you sleep? <laughs> well, okay, well, let's not... He doesn't stream every day, let's get that clear. But... That's true, you're right. But his he does put in a lot of hours. Good. It's like his hours are insane. Yeah. Um. So, um, I don't know. Like, again... But it, it, it seems like at the end of the day, you put respect into Chu's resume. Put respect into Chu's name. And I think that's maybe part of the reason why I'm down to be like, yo, Zane, not yet with Zane, because it's like I I actually expect Zane to just pass like literally everyone here up. Like, I, I think that within two years we're gonna be talking about like Zane in the top, like Zane compared to the top five, like Ken, Mute King, Hbox, or Modern Mango, you know, like, and it won't really be much of a you know discussion about these other guys but i could be wrong like it's it's very possible that some hot shot will come around you know crudo will make a humongous rise become best in the world you never know with melee it, it, <laughs> people people can just become crazy good who um, truly knows who truly knows 